I'm France Rivet. The exhibit is um, an initiative of the Club de Photographie Polarisée de l'Outaouais. This is the second year that we collaborate with uh, the NCC. Two years ago, we had developed a, a photo exhibit to be part of the National Capital Wildlife Festival that is held every spring, and it was on the theme of native plants. We had our pictures up in the summer of 2010. At the end of the exhibit, they were left with 18 frames, but no <laughs> pictures. So they proposed that this year we collaborate again on a new theme, and it was on the uh, amphibians and reptiles. I also co-manage the nature group of the Club de Photographie, and we just sent a request to all photographers saying, here is this opportunity to have your photos shown. Please send us images that you feel are worth uh, putting up in the exhibit. The park gave us the list of all the species, so we got probably over 100 photos amazing, for yeah. Yeah. 18 different species. Some of them are hard to, to photograph, so our members could not provide enough images for all of these species. That's when I thought of Shelley and Klaus Vogel, they're biologists and passionate about <laughs> photography. And I knew that they would have images of the species that we could not gather photographs for. I'm Shelley Ball. They're sort of two of my passions, and I think kind of one of the nicest things is to be able to combine both of those. So do you think when you're taking a picture, you have a different eye for the subject than some of the other pictures on display here? I think so. I think I, sometimes I don't realize it, but if I kind of take a step back, I realize that I do have a different perspective. I tend to look at, say, a tree frog, but then I start thinking about its biology, and then I start thinking about, well, how can I sort of capture some of that? And I guess one of my um, intentions with my photography is to try to illustrate something different to people who are not biologists, but sometimes I try to put either more of an artistic spin on it or to try to illustrate some aspect of the biology that the average person wouldn't see. Mm -hmm. And in that way... Hopefully you're producing some art, but at the same time you're kind of educating. That's what really gets me excited. It's that intersection, that combination of the art and the, the education, I guess. The four painted turtles, and I saw them from the corner of my eye. I had time to take uh, maybe three or four pictures, and then they were gone. I find that they're very hard to photograph mm -hmm. turtles. They're very shy. I was privileged that they let me uh, take a few pictures that morning. And why do you suppose they're uh, piled up in a car accident like that? I will let the <laughs> biologist answer that question. <laughs> exactly. There's a party going on. <laughs> I think a lot of cases it just boils down to what's the best place to sun yourself. Because, of course, what they want to do is get, get in the warm. sun, get nice and warm. It boosts their metabolism, which means they're more able to swim around, escape predators, feed, and it also helps their digestion. So I think sometimes it's a case of like, hey, get out of the way, that's my spot, you know, and a kind of a preferred location. He's doing it, it must be a good idea. Exactly, okay. that's <laughs> it, that's it. So. <laughs> but I think most of us, um, we try to have um, a better vision when we go walk in the forest, right? We're not just walking, we're yeah. trying to listen. Are there noises that will tell us that, oops, there's something here happening? I was struck by this uh, snapper. Great. Look, he looks like a uh, dinosaur. Yes, you that's right. That was that's taken true. last uh, last summer at Mud Lake at uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, and the turtles. This one had just finished uh, digging the hole and the Laying pond eggs. the desert, lay her eggs, and she had decided that she was leaving. Yes, that's right. It looks like <laughs> a, a dinosaur. Eh? So true. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.